you know, both teams just credit for showing up. Uh, what a what a whirlwind couple of days. You got to give North Carolina so much credit and Coach Banghart for her great leadership. Um, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy uh, times. And um, but you know, the option was to not play or play, and you could see both teams were sloppy and not as prepared. And um, you know, but we played the game, and I think both teams got a lot out of it. Um, I don't think either head coach is going home tonight saying, wow, we're great. We fixed everything. Um, but I think both coaches can say we're gritty and we got competitors. And it's really important for these players to be in game situations. I mean, the more we play, the more you get time for uh, – uh, I, I felt like Nyunga and Naomi were just huge, gave us great minutes. We got to get some late game experience out of them. But it gave an opportunity for like a Jameer Houston who – really struggled and I really came down on her hard the last couple of days after Syracuse because she wasn't as focused and she came in and was a hero for us. So these games, you know, you can't get some of this stuff out of practice. So there's a positive story on their side too, because I thought that, um, that, uh, that Utsby, Utsby kid was phenomenal for Carolina, real simple, real, real phenomenal. And Deja Kelly's going to be a heck of a player. So um, they're getting more minutes for their, their newcomers as well. So it was one of those games where, um, you know, as coaches, we decided to play. We wanted to play, um, but we got a lot to fix. All right, and our first question comes from Kevin Ivany. Go ahead, Kevin. Coach, I mean, you got your first ACC win today. Just what does it mean to get that win today, especially having it be a day where you didn't know you were even playing UNC a couple days ago and then getting UNC, but getting that first win today? Yeah. Uh, Really, I mean, you, you can't ever look an ACC win in the mouth. And, um, you know, hopefully we get to 20 games. Uh, I know we've played two and we're one and one. And, and that's how, you know, the next game is supposed to be Georgia Tech. And that's what I'll prepare for tonight. And then we'll see um, how that goes. Because it's, it's one thing I think that as a head coach um, and as a, the staff uh, decisions that we're making is um, this particular season is, you know, we got to do less game prep and a heck of a lot more um, player development. And I'm sure every coach is going to feel that way. Um, you know, I got to just get in the gym with my kids and get in the film room with them and just talk to them about basketball and how to make a ball screen read and how to defend certain actions and then just play whoever's on your schedule. And our next question comes from Cal Friedman. Go ahead, Cal. Coach, Destiny Harden recorded her second double-double of the season. Oh, what, what strengths have you seen from her throughout the year so far? You know, um, it's funny, too, because, like, I, you know, it's so weird to to not know your team as well and not having as much of a chance to not see some of the stuff and be already two ACC games in, only have three games prior. You know, it's just – and so I'll tell you, I was kicking myself in the middle of the game. I finally came up with a call that could get Destiny on a post-up um, when we were struggling offensively. And, like, it, it, you know, I'm like so mad. And I'm like, wait a minute, it's, it's really like your fifth game. Like, give yourself – you got to find that stuff because Destiny's playing in a different spot. Um, Naomi and Nyonga, I'm trying to figure out how to use them. And they're – and then they were out there, and then they were in a different position than the play I called. And it's just stuff that you usually don't find out against such great teams. You usually have a couple warm-ups and scrimmages and stuff. So, for Destiny, I got to keep calling for her. I think she's a special player. I love her shot chart. I love what she can do. But I just thought she was heroic on the glass and huge offensive rebounds when we were really on the ropes. And we're going to go back to Kevin Ivany. Go ahead, Kevin. Just wanted to see if you could talk a little bit about the defense tonight. Obviously, you guys held them to basically no three-pointers the entire night until the end when they got those last two. So what was the defense tonight? So what was the game plan going in? And just how do you feel you guys executed? Yeah, you know, they had incredible offensive numbers um, in their first three games. And and then I thought that Wake Forest did a really nice job of just de defending them pretty hard. And so I really didn't know. We don't know until you're coaching against them. They have great three-point shooters. I mean, they, they, they're, they're a very, very good team. They, they You know, their fatigue caught up with them, too, with this last-minute travel. And that's why I'm saying I just want to give them so much credit. But this uh, Petra, I can't pronounce her last name, but that – Kid's a great, great shooter, and, and we knew it, so we paid attention to her. But I, I agree. We went zone, um, daring them to shoot a little bit when they were like one for 12 in the game. And then they got the late three against the zone, you know, so you always kick yourself as a coach, but you're going to give something up, and Bailey was killing us inside. So we played three or four different defenses tonight to try to keep them off balance, and I thought our kids played. I, you know, we're going to be a gritty team, you know, and we're okay with winning ugly. That's just who we are. And uh, we're not going to be pretty and we're not going to be flashy and our percentages aren't going to be as good as they need to be. Um, but we're going to give great effort. And that's what we did tonight. Our last one comes from Cal Friedman. Go ahead, Cal. 
So, Coach, you get this win. Immediately you have your first travel game of the season. You go to Georgia Tech, a team that you played very close last year in both games, split the series. What do they do so well, and what needs to improve from today's performance to get the win? Right. I mean, I, I honestly I have gotten just a quick look at them, obviously. I, <laughs> I was preparing for Duke two days ago, you know, so um, let alone not near a line of Georgia Tech. But I do know that uh, in terms of what I saw, that what they have returning and where I p- play, picked them in the league, I think they're veteran. I think they're really physical. Um, they're playing great. I have only seen them play against Georgia. And I thought they were very, very, very good. They're going to be extremely physical. And we need Bree and, and Sid to really show up. Um, but I'll tell you what, with, with them in foul trouble and stuff, and we went small, I thought, Jameer Houston, if you're going to talk about destiny, you got to, as being a hero, then you got India Banks rebounding her tail off. And then you got Jameer, who's given up size and strength and everything else, and really was a hero tonight. So we'll do what we'll, 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 show, we'll play hard and, and, and we'll give it our best effort with whoever's, whoever's out there. Thank you very much, Coach. We have Destiny Harden coming up.